Hello friends, good evening and welcome to another session of Tech Tablet Daily Dose with Varun Rao. In today's session, uh, the aim is to understand the various uh, design principles of Fiori and in order or in the process of understanding this we'll also realize as to you know why is you know Fiori thriving in the market and why are Fiori consultants still being successful amidst of having so many front-end editors like uh, or front-end platforms like you have Java, you have .NET, you have so many frameworks. But in spite of this, Fiori is hardly four, four or four or five years old and is still performing much better in terms of market stretch and you know uh, and in terms of employment and even in terms of implementation so let us look at the design principles and understand what are the uh, design principles that are making fury one of the best front end application or one of the be best front end platforms to work with right and you can also check the app store to cross check with the principles you can go to uh, the google app store and you can download the sap client uh, or the sap app store to cross check if what i am saying and the principles that you are finding in this video or the, the principles that you're finding in SAP blog if they are really m matching up to your expectations or not and if you feel that there is some problem uh, with the principle or there is something that you do not agree with you can always comment in the comment box right below so now we'll be taking a look at uh, the different design principles so let's begin with it the approach first so it is responsive it is simple it is impactful it is coherent and it has instant value right so talking of each of these responsive is that it can fit in any size of a device and on any version and in any channel when you talk of simple it means that it finally focuses on the user experience and the outcome so ux is one of the biggest policies or is definitely one of the biggest uh, source of attraction for is of sap ui5 impactful yes it is uh, definitely impactful as it is renewed uh, you know based on storage or usage and uh, they are kept minimal then you have coherent coherent means every application or every page of an application they speak the same language they speak they speak the same language as in you do not get deviated from uh, the motive of getting into the app so you get into the app for one purpose then it you find the uni purpose getting satisfied throughout the application right that is what it means you know when they say it, they speak the same language and then finally you know there are some features which make it very easy simple to understand and you know it's simple to use as well so that is called as instant value so it, it the, what does this mean it means that basically it's easy to adopt it's easy to adapt it's easy to deploy introduce and grow right so these are you know the approaches for, for sap ui5 fury design right so now we'll just look into it so it is based on five core principles uh, that SAP UI5 Fiori experience is to be that is role based, adaptive, simple, coherent and delightful. Now when you say role based, right, role based means now let us consider you are the manager of an organization and I am an employee. When I raise a request, then you would be able to approve it. But this approve application which is there that is something that i would not be able to see because it is role based it is tagged for you and it's only you who would be able to use this role based uh, feature uh, through using role based feature you would be able to look at the approve leave request tab right so this is what role based means right so modular applications are optimized to certain tasks or you know or to cater certain tasks that can uh, support you know much more complex flows so what how does role based uh, design help us so it understand the task that i need to do i do not have to again go into approve uh, approve app and then you know approve i directly have notifications then it is built from insight within my business network so the workflow is always followed then it gives me information that i need to complete my tasks so it's 
in a way helping me to make me to do my work faster and then it brings together all the information and function that the user needs right independent from where it is stored it is not important as to where the data is stored then responsive responsive we've already seen that it can fit in any device of any size of any version and uh, of any channel right and fury apps can run on different form factors on one code base right so they basically deliver the best experience on any device you use they have a very smart adaptation as and when required uh, then they react to who i am and what i do you know that is what responsiveness means and they finally take my point of view and other different perspectives from within the same page so this is what responsive is the third important design principle is simple right so when whenever you build any kind of an application the most important target is to get rid of the unnecessary functionality to ensure that your application is performance uh, you know has got uh, you know no performance issues so with fury design principles it, it is actually targeted to optimize everything that a user needs on his screen even if you're talking of functionality right you got to ensure that the functionality is being achieved with the least number of uh, design uh, or you know with the least number of complex functions involved so every functionality is to be achieved with one of the most simple features available right so simple basically means that it helps you focus on what is important and what is not it automates you know what you can and it ensures that you are in control of it right and it it will also tell you how you are doing and you know it gives you feedback all the way along so that is the reason why you know it becomes simple as well then you have coherent coherent is wherein you know all the applications are in one coherent or are, are in one unipurpose uh you know experience so basically whenever you're shifting from one page to another page or one application to another you would not find that they are too different from each other they are all you know built in a very similar notion and they all speak the same language and they do the same thing in a very different way so basically you know this is what coherent means every page makes you feel familiar and comfortable and nothing apart from this then finally it's delightful delightful is you know the achievement of ux with advanced visuals animations and interaction if required it shows me the impact of my contribution and it goes beyond what is expected right so it always amazes me then there is uh, the uh, the best part which is it is smart and it is also proactive and then it gives me an assistant and a co-worker as well so these are the design principles that are required for you to construct a good ui5 fury application so i hope you enjoyed today's session uh, keep coding keep growing do stay subscribed to this channel tech tablet daily dose and if you found this suitable please do share and comment i hope you enjoyed the session uh, stay strong and do stay tuned to this channel for many more videos like these yet to be covered and a lot of knowledge yet to be exchanged between us you have a great day